It's always a great day to take a Strybog out for a range video, and this one's pretty special because it takes <gasps> Glock magazines. Look at this. All right, let's try it out. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, big thanks to our friends at Gun Zone Deals for sending this particular Strybog out. Uh, this is one of the newer iterations that accepts, as you can see, Glock magazines. And uh, I want this video to be pretty short and sweet because we've done so many videos on the Strybog. And uh, this gun has been through quite a few iterations and changes, and there's been a lot of aftermarket components that people have uh, developed in order to work with the Strybog, uh, like the lingual lowers to take the uh, Scorpion mags, uh, the early versions that took the straight mags, and of course, uh, the folks at Grand Power fixed the issue and uh, provided a curved magazine, which was the last video on the Strybog that you saw from us. Uh, gun Zone Deals also sent that particular gun out for us to check out. And uh, this one is the Glock fed version. So I feel like this video can kind of serve as a, maybe a closing of a chapter, if you will. Uh, we've done a lot of work with the Strybox because I've always thought that these particular PCCs are a great value, okay? Uh, I feel like they have a lot to offer for what they cost and they are packed with features that shooters want. Uh, if you're interested in knowing more, obviously just check out some of our other content on these particular guns. Uh, this one is the A3 model that has the uh, kind of delayed roller blowback, so super smooth recoiling. Uh, it suppresses very well. So there's a lot of little revisions that have uh, changed on the Strybog over the years. So I think in terms of the operating system and everything, they've gotten everything uh, worked out really nicely. And for those of you that already have, uh, several Glock mags laying around, this is a great way to add a PCC to your arsenal uh, that already takes magazines that you have laying around um, already, which is really cool. This particular gun is wearing a whip machine, nine millimeter suppressor. Um, this particular suppressor is the same one we ran in the previous video, and I find that these whip cans are a nice fit for a PCC. Good volume, not a whole lot of weight, and of course a nice short length, uh, so I really do like that. This one has the Rad Max Pro from Crimson Trace. Um, I really do like these ruggedized red dots that they're putting out. Crimson Trace has really made a good splash in the red dot mar market, so it's really cool to see them uh, excelling well in that particular task. This is an SB tactical folding brace. This is a pistol. The muzzle on this one is threaded half by 28 respectively. Um, but all in all, it's a Glock fed Strybog. So let's have a little fun, shoot it some more. I'll tell you what, let's try some subsonic ammunition through this particular setup. This is some Remington 147 grain UMC full powered subs. All right, and obviously this is a nine millimeter. Let's have some fun. This can is great, it just kind of knocks the edge off with full power uh, subs. Let's give it a listen. Made short work of everything out here, didn't it? Okay, here's some subs. Not bad, okay. Have one failure to feed there on the last round of the magazine. All right, 124 grain Bellom Supers, okay. Have a little fun here. Nice. All right, some more supers. And again, this, uh, this blowback type of system, the, the roller blowback on the A3 version of this uh, Strybog, a very smooth recoiling setup and it suppresses great. <laughs> okay, one more mag. 
have some fun here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow. She's getting a little warm there on the fore end, but not too bad. You know, I, I kind of feel like this is the perfect rig to kind of end our Strybog video series on. And it's not to say that we're not going to make more videos on this gun. We will. Uh, but we have gone through quite a few iterations, and it's been really fun to see um, sort of the progress that this gun has made throughout its uh, developmental process and getting this out to the market. You know, Grand Power has done very well to respond to uh, user feedback, to commentary, uh, to respond well to people out there doing videos like us and other people. I mean, guys like Tim and, you know, all kinds of great people, uh, Military Arms Channel, in case you don't know what I'm talking about there, but like all the people that have just provided good feedback has kind of helped bring this thing full circle. And I think it's really cool to see this uh, gun sort of come to flourish. Uh, and the type of arrangement I, I think most people probably wanted from the get-go. Uh, you know, I think most American shooters probably prefer the Glock-fed uh, flavor, you know, or the uh, Scorpion-fed flavor. However, it is cool to see that they fixed the magazines. So the previous video we put up with the curved magazines, those seem to work quite well. And those are cheaper than factory Glock mags, so that might be an option for some of you if you don't want to have to mess with Glock mags. So... Wanted to make this quick video as kind of an update and to show you uh, that yes, you can get a Strybog that takes Glock mag. So there you go. Uh, the, you asked and they provided, um, which is what any good company should do, I think. Thank you so much for watching today's video. We will have more videos on the Strybog coming out in time uh, as anything becomes noteworthy to report. And also uh, big thanks uh, to our friends at Gun Zone Deals for providing this particular example. Um, I didn't even know this was a thing, but now it is and that's so cool um, big thank you to all of our patreon supporters for supporting what we do you guys are amazing thank you also go over to ballistic inc and pick yourself up a snazzy new t-shirt that's one way you can support our efforts directly if you wish to do so many more videos on the way always a great day to take a pcc out have a good one <laughs>